Now, two weeks ago, I shared this actual build, a live build on my TikTok platform. But due to the fact that it's in portrait mode and you can upload a live up to TikTok so that those who may have missed your live could get the information, I wanted to do a entirely new uh, tutorial for you so you can follow along. Let's get to the things you're going to need right off. The first thing is you're going to need a drill. You're going to need two different drill bits, a 3 8 and a 5 8 I call this little tool a bore. I use this to clean up the holes that I create on the buckets so they don't have any plastic ridges, sharp edges. I also use a tape measure. Now, let's get to it. We're going to start talking about some of the inside components. So the next thing we're going to need is the Berkey filters. In this kit, it comes with two filters. Now, these uh, two filters here is going to cost you roughly $155. Now, there is an alternative. It looks the same, it acts the same, and through the test, it is the same. It's just that it's not made by Berkey and it only costs you $55, saving you $100. You're going to need yourself a spigot kit. In this particular kit here, I have four spigots, two whites, two blacks, that comes with all the nuts and bolts. With this kit added, $10 to the Berkey system, you're looking at $165 to build your DIY water filtration system. If you choose to go with the cheaper alternative, you're looking at $65 with your buckets. Either your buckets, you've gotten them free, or you can simply pick up your five gallon buckets at Lowe's or Home Depot. I prefer food gradable. In fact, I prefer 90 ml. That means is 90 ml thick over the 70 ml when it comes to my water. So let's take this notation. If you purchase them from Home Depot or Lowe's, these are 70 ml buckets. When it comes to commercial standards, these are buckets that I got from my local Asian restaurant free. And you'll notice on the bottom, it will tell you the measurements. These are 90 ml as opposed, again, to 70 ml. I like the much thicker graded buckle. They're going to last me a lot longer. So I'm going to put that down for right now. Now, on this side here, I have a water testing kit. I test all of my water, even though I don't have to once it goes through this system. But I do the testing anyways. And I'm going to do a test for you folks on my rainwater outdoors, as well as the city water out there has gone through filtration to give you folks the results. Now, let's get started and we'll get this build on the way. And if you need time to get your tools, well, you don't have to rush. This video will be at your leisure. Come back and watch it.